Hi, I'm Jim Corrado, the President and CEO of the Independence Visitor Center Corporation and the Board Treasurer for Welcome America Incorporated. It is my pleasure to welcome you today to the 2020 Wawa Welcome America Festival press announcement. Normally at this time of year, we host this event in person at the Independence Visitor Center, and it's always an exciting time as we announce the programs and entertainment for what is the best 4th of July celebration in America. This year, we're going to do it in a safe and virtual way, but the news will be very exciting just as well. So on behalf of the Board of Directors of Welcome America, thank you for joining us today. Please be safe, and it is now my pleasure to introduce to you Michael Delbane, the President and CEO of Welcome America. Thank you so much, Jim. And thank you to the Board of Directors for your ongoing support and leadership. I want to take a moment to say thank you to the City of Philadelphia for giving us the green light to proceed with this year's virtual festival. And in particular, I want to thank Mayor Kenny for his leadership and vision for Welcome America and for our city. Please join me in welcoming our friend and our mayor, Jim Kenny. Hi, I'm Mayor Jim Kenny. As the birthplace of America, the 4th of July is a big deal for our city. And while it may look a little different this year, we are committed to giving our city something to celebrate this July 4th. We're excited that Welcome America has found a way to provide seven days of programming for people to enjoy from the comfort and safety of their homes. This year's virtual festival will put Philadelphia on a global stage, with people having the opportunity to experience it from all over the world. We're a city of strong traditions, and celebrating July 4th is one of Philadelphia's most tried and true traditions. I look forward to celebrating with all of you in a few weeks, thanks to the Welcome America team and all their efforts. Happy 4th of July. Thank you so much, Mayor Kenny. We've got a great lineup of special guests today and lots of exciting information to share about this year's Wawa Welcome America virtual festival. But before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to share how the events of the past several months have impacted our festival planning this year and some thoughts on our future. Every July 4th, we come together to celebrate our city and the founding of our nation. And as you know, this year's festival will be very different. The great public spaces in which we would normally gather will be empty, as families will need to celebrate at home in the face of a global pandemic. Many of those who would normally sing out in celebration will redirect their voices as the cry for a more fair, equal, and just America spreads across our land. The decision to hold a festival in light of all that is unfolding was a difficult one. But Philadelphia is a strong city of strong communities, and we are committed to preserving this important tradition. We hope that by coming together virtually to engage, learn, and yes, even celebrate, Perhaps we can begin to better understand the challenges that have burdened this country since its birth and still confront us today. Welcome America has always been fiercely committed to creating space for diverse voices to come together and be heard in the telling of our shared history and the celebration of our shared culture. And again this year, as in years past, you will see a festival lineup that includes programming that amplifies these voices. But the truth is, we can do more, and we will. Going forward, we commit ourselves to telling the story of our nation in a way that recognizes the diverse history of our country, not just through the eyes of the Founding Fathers, but through the lives and stories and voices of all Americans. To support this growth for our organization, the most important thing our team can do is listen. And so in the coming year, we plan to initiate a conversation with diverse communities across our city to help us expand our programming to be even more reflective of the people we serve, particularly programming in our neighborhoods. We've got work to do, and we may not do it perfectly. Our festival, like our nation, is a work in progress. But I am confident that we can continue to honor America's historic achievements while acknowledging the important work left to be done in our shared pursuit of a more perfect union. Thank you again for being with us today. We have so much great information to share with you. Let's get started. In addition to the wonderful support and leadership that we get from the city of Philadelphia, Welcome America is also incredibly fortunate to have the investment of great corporate citizens here in Philadelphia who have stepped up to the plate in a big way 
to ensure that our festival not only survives, but thrives despite all of the challenges. And chief among those companies is a beloved and cherished brand here in Philadelphia, Wawa. We simply couldn't do it without their support, investment, guidance, and leadership. Please join me in welcoming the president and CEO of Wawa, Chris Geisens. Hi everyone, I am happy to join you today to provide an update on what will be truly one of a kind Wawa Welcome America Festival in 2020. As you might guess, the festival will be, well, a bit different this year. But as a company with the deepest of roots in Philadelphia, we knew we had to do everything possible to continue the strong tradition to celebrate our nation's birthday in its birthplace. 2020 will mark our 11th year as title sponsor of Wawa Welcome America. You will hear the entire festival promises to be filled with family, fun, activities, and other elements to enjoy. Some at home and some in your own neighborhood. Wawa will also produce some programming that salutes the history, the heroes, and happenings that bring us together during this special time of the year. First, Wawa Hoagie Day. That's Wednesday, July 1st. We'll continue our 28 year tradition of recognizing the heroes within our community and the tradition of giving back. Though we'll miss our historic hoagie giveaway at Independence Mall, we're doing something actually a little bit extra special this year as we continue with the wonderful tradition in new ways. This year, Wawa Hoagie Day will expand beyond Philadelphia with all 900 Wawa stores building hoagies at the same time with donations to local community heroes around each of those stores. On that morning, more than 45,000 hoagies will be shared with healthcare workers, first responders, veterans, military, and USO, all those who play a vital role in serving our communities. We'll also be sharing a special video with scenes from hoagie making experts builds in all of our six states. At noon on hoagie day, we'll get a special glimpse of the heartfelt deliveries to those nearby neighbors, along with some throwback footage of hoagie days in the past. Also this year, we've continuing our go forth and learn program, which will be a special Wawa live stream and video from the Wawa Test Kitchen right from our corporate campus. It will include a cooking demonstration along with a virtual tour of the Wawa Dairy so kids and families can see firsthand how their favorite dairy products or Wawa food is made and goes from farm to store. And what else? Fourth of July couldn't be a celebration without the Wawa Foundation Hero Award. That's right. This year we will honor a nonprofit who serves our communities and has stepped up during this time of crisis. We'll also announce as the winner of the Celebration of Freedom Ceremony on July 4th, we're gonna present them with a $50,000 grant. I'm pleased to announce that the finalists for the Wawa Hero Foundation Award are one, Broad Street Ministries, two, the Visiting Nurses Association, three, the People's Emergency Center, and four, the Salvation Army. We ask that everyone visits thewawafoundation.org to view the amazing stories and the great work these organizations have done. Cast your vote for the organization you feel should receive the top award from now through June 29th. So in closing, we want to thank everyone who's helped make this new format possible. We're excited about it, and we look forward to seeing you virtually all this year and in person for many more years to come. Cheers to the unofficial start of summer, and we can't wait to welcome you to the 2020 Wawa Welcome America Festival really soon. Thank you so much, Chris. And thank you again to Wawa for your incredibly generous support of these heroes in our community. It's gonna be so exciting to watch the finalists receive their grants at the Celebration of Freedom Ceremony this year, presented by Freedom Mortgage on July 4th in prime time at 7 p.m. As Wawa knows so well, Philadelphia is a city of neighborhoods. And from Old City to Germantown, and from University City to West Parkside, Nobody does a better job of putting our neighborhoods on display than Visit Philadelphia. 
Visit Philadelphia is an incredible partner to us in taking not only our festival, but our city and showing it off to the world. We couldn't do it without their incredible partnership and support. And so please join me in welcoming the president and CEO of Visit Philadelphia and a Welcome America board member, Jeff Guarcino. Thanks, Mike. This is a city that knows something about challenging the status quo since 1776. I'm really excited about this year's Wawa Welcome America as we make history for the first time and going entirely virtual. I think this is an amazing opportunity as we give people for the first time the ability to see all of the amazing events in our neighborhoods with our children and to our signature events that we all enjoy each and every year here in Philadelphia. No matter where you are, whether you're a resident, a visitor, or someone who's been interested in coming to Philadelphia, we think this year's Wawa Welcome America will really deliver something unique and special for those who are interested in our country's founding. What this year we'll see is some behind the scenes tours that most people can't get a chance to see on a normal visit. And we're really excited about that. We're excited about this year's events. We hope you come to visit us here in Philadelphia for July 4th and any time of year, and we'll warmly welcome you with love. Thanks so much, Jeff. Visit Philadelphia's help in sharing the excitement of our festival with the world is so important, and there is so much to be excited about. From the marquee performances like our Hymns and Harmonies gospel concert, to the United States Army Field Band, to the Philadelphia Orchestra, and of course, to the great Philly Pops. The local artists who appear on the Pennsylvania Lottery Groove Stage and the Chill Moody Music Experience. Art, culture, and performance will again play a starring role in our festival. But it's not a true celebration unless you take time to learn a little something along the way. And that's why our education programs are so important to our festival. And our PICO Go Forth and Learn series always delivers on the promise to make learning fun. To share a little more about our education and community engagement programs, please join me in welcoming Lee Whitaker, the Director of City Relations at the University of Pennsylvania and Vice Chair of the Welcome America Board. Thanks, Michael. I am excited to be part of the 2020 Wawa Welcome America Festival announcement, not only as a board member of Welcome America, but also as a partner in my role as the Director of City Relations at the University of Pennsylvania. One aspect that makes Wawa Welcome America so unique is its commitment to community programming. And even with a virtual festival, Welcome America is dedicated to providing opportunities for education and engagement in fun and interactive ways. Typically, we bring this fun right into your neighborhoods. This year, we're bringing the fun right into your home. Residents of Philadelphia and viewers across the nation can enjoy and experience great activities all week long. From experiencing exclusive access to 19 museums to getting a sneak peek into some of Philadelphia's most treasured historical sites, to turning household items into music, musical instruments, there's something for everyone, all from the comfort at home. At the University of Pennsylvania, we are proud to partner with Welcome America to bring you the PICO Go Forth and Learn, a day of fun and fitness in partnership with Penn Athletics and Penn Sports Medicine. We hope you're ready to get active. Coaches and staff from Penn Athletics are ready to get you moving with fun, interactive fitness and sports activities for both kids and adults to enjoy. As you can see with Welcome America, it's all about community and we look forward to you joining us throughout the week. Thank you so much, Lee. And thank you again to PICO for your ongoing support of these important education programs. Celebration is what binds us as a community. It's what gives us a common purpose and it's what helps us as friends and neighbors feel mentally and emotionally healthy. That's why we are so incredibly proud to partner with Independence Blue Cross, our official health and wellness partner, who through this year's festival will be using their expertise to help all Philadelphians feel mentally and emotionally well. Please join me in welcoming Dan Hilferty, the president and CEO of Independence Blue Cross. This will be a very different, but hopefully memorable and meaningful festival in 2020. And Independence is proud to partner with Wawa Welcome America to make it happen. Each year, Philadelphia welcomes people from across the nation in celebration of our core ideal, the right to life, 
liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We are vividly reminded this year that those rights are not yet fully realized for all Americans and not guaranteed for anyone unless we work together to secure them. With the impact of the COVID-19 virus, as well as the struggle for social justice in our streets, our annual celebration must look very different this year. We will still welcome America for Independence Day. Philadelphia is where the quest for a new kind of nation took hold. And our city is still a beacon for those who believe in America's promise, however imperfect. Our ability to gather this year is necessarily limited but we will present Wawa Welcome America in a new and innovative way. After the challenges of this year, support for the physical and emotional well-being of citizens in our communities is critical. Independence is committed to providing resources that help people build resilience and meet these recent challenges. As Wawa Welcome America's official health and wellness partner, we look forward to offering a truly unique virtual experience. The Independence Blue Cross hashtag Mindful Wellness Corner. During the festival, the Wellness Corner will feature daily programming focused on mental and emotional health. Of course, one of the best ways to stay mentally and emotionally healthy is to still find reasons to come together, even virtually. So Independence Blue Cross will also return as the official stage sponsor of the July 4th concert, broadcast live on NBC10. It's going to be a great event. Please make plans to join us during Wawa Welcome America. Let's be mindful together this July 4th. That's right, Dan. The Independence Blue Cross stage at Wawa Welcome America is where the magic happens. And this year, we are again so proud and fortunate to partner with Comcast, NBC Universal, NBC 10, and Telemundo 62 to bring our festival and the magic of our stage into your home. The NBC 10 team are true partners, and they provide expertise in planning, logistics, production, and communications, which always helps our festival be a world-class experience. Please join me in welcoming President and General Manager of NBC10 and Telemundo 62, Rick Harris. Thank you, Michael. As the official broadcast partner of Wawa Welcome America, we're proud to cover the stories that matter to you most. We recognize the importance of including all voices in our storytelling in order to build a more fair, equal, and just America. While this year's festival will look different, we believe this is an opportunity to make history and celebrate America's birthday in a new and timely way, live from Philly and available on your favorite screen. You'll be able to watch live or stream at your convenience across NBC10, Telemundo Sesenthiidos, Cozy TV, Teleexodos, and all of our digital platforms. And if that's not enough, Philly Live, our local lifestyle show, will produce an entire week of Wawa Welcome America content during the festival. We'll also broadcast the Wawa Welcome America Celebration of Freedom Ceremony and the 4th of July concert live in prime time in English and in Spanish. This year's Wawa Welcome America Festival will be something truly special. And there's no better way to experience this event then with NBC10, Telemundo Sesenthi, those Cozy TV, Teleexodos, and all of our great partners. Now I'd like to share a video of the newly envisioned production planned for this year's celebration. Thank you. This 4th of July, let's come together to recognize America's historic achievements, understand the important work left to be done, and work together to make our country better. In the birthplace of freedom, let's celebrate our right to pursue a greater, more just form of freedom. For seven days this summer, join NBC10 and Telemundo 62 for Wawa Welcome America. 100% virtual, 100% free. Starting June 28th, your home will host every festival event. Every day, packed with educational and unforgettable experiences for you and your family daily health and wellness classes, open museum tours, exclusive performances, behind the scenes visits to our beloved attractions, 
and educational experiences for all ages, all from your home. And don't miss the finale, a live concert on the 4th of July. Watch it on air or wherever you, your friends, and your family choose to celebrate. From June 28th to July 4th, let's make history together. Wow, Rick, what an incredible video and what a great way to get everyone excited for our upcoming festival. We are so grateful for your help in not only broadcasting the Celebration of Freedom ceremony, but also the July 4th concert, both in prime time. Speaking of our concert on July 4th, we are so incredibly proud to produce this concert again this year with our amazing partners at Live Nation. They are the best in the business when it comes to bringing world-class, award-winning talent to Philadelphia. We couldn't do it without them. And here to share some exciting news about this year's concert, please join me in welcoming Jeff Gordon, Regional President of Live Nation Philadelphia. Thank you, Michael. Happy to be involved as always. Live Nation is very happy to be able to produce this event along with the city and Wawa Welcome America. And this year we'll be doing it virtually from the stage here at the beautiful Met Opera House on North Broad. We're very happy to be able to have it here because there's been some great performers here in the last 18 months. And although we can't have it live, we'll bring it from our house here on North Broad to your house at home. So with that, I'll give it back to you, Michael. You have some great news about the artists. Thank you so much, Jeff. Live Nation has been so generous to open the doors of the beautiful Met Philadelphia for this concert, and you've stepped up to support our festival and our city in a big way. And now it's my great pleasure to share the exciting news of who'll be joining us for this year's July 4th concert performance. This year, our concert will begin with a performance by Emmy, Grammy, and Tony Award-winning artist, Cynthia Arrivo. Cynthia's recent portrayal of Harriet Tubman in the movie Harriet earned her two Oscar nominations for Best Performance by a Lead Actress in a Leading Role and Best Original Song, Stand Up. The show will conclude, as always, with a party. And this year will feature the incredible multi-platinum Jason Derulo. It's going to be spectacular. As you can see, there is a lot to be excited about. It takes a lot of hands and a lot of dedicated individuals, companies, and partners to make this festival a success. On behalf of our board of directors and our entire team, thank you. We look forward to celebrating across our city, from the Philadelphia Zoo to Christ Church, and from the University of Pennsylvania to North Broad Street. And we will deliver it all to you in the safety and comfort of your home. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you from June 28th to July 4th, and we hope you'll make plans to join us. Thank you so much. See you then.